continue, and at the very end of the parsha it says, "V'yitemli kedoshim ki kadosh ani Hashem va'abdil atem min ha'amim liyadli." So it says, "You should be uh, kadosh, all of you, because I am kadosh, and I've separated you from all the nations uh, to be for me, for myself." And so, I, a couple of weeks ago, we mentioned that uh, Rabbi Eliezer Berkovitz came out and gave this definition of, of kedusha, of sanctity, being when you take the potential and you turn it into actuality. And I have a read on this, which is, this part is filled with laws related to sexuality and also uh, not so much the kashrut, but uh, how you deal with food and the term flesh and blood, we hear that all the time. And really what's happening is um, we are set up, uh, God's saying, I am the king of all potential. All potential, all reality comes through me. I, I'm representative of that. And I'm setting you up as well to actualize your potential. But the problem is that you have to have free will. So in order to have free will, you have to have stumbling blocks along the way. The food and the uh, sexuality are the two biggest stumbling blocks that we have that, that prevent us from realizing our potential. So one of the examples that uh, I was reading in a, a book by a rabbi, Nataf, uh, he says that when you do circumcision, the idea is, is that you're symbolizing, uh, women can't do it, but still it's symbolic, that the um, you're cutting off a part of the, your flesh in order to say that the flesh doesn't rule me. And again, it's obviously connected to the sexual sexuality, but the idea is you don't want to out-animal the animals. And so in food, for example, animals don't seem to get overweight. That's something that's a human condition. You eat too much, that's why in Devarim, it calls us, uh, we're gonna get kicked out because we got too fat. So there's this notion that uh, if we want to actualize our potential, we have to be mindful of our, our body and uh, and I think that in, uh, in the, right before this Kadosh, it talks about, you shall observe all my decrees and everything, and it says related to the land, don't follow the traditions of the nation that is there. And I think what's going on in Gaza now just is like so highlighted, the difference between how people act in a certain way, and uh, we have to keep that in mind also. So, Rebbe Chana Bakash,